Well, you're absolutely right, Kelly. And I think they did chalk up a win. Let's talk about the retail investors. They chalked up a victory when they got a lot of the short hedge funds squeezed out last January. But I think you have to go back, and as football season is just a couple weeks away, I think you have to talk about a trick play. Well, that was a trick play. You did see Reddit and a variety of different retail investors gather together and push markets higher and squeeze some of the biggest and smartest hedge funds out there. I don't think you can run the same play. Just like in football, Kelly, you can't run the same play again. So yes, it feels like deja vu. And I thought Dom brought up a really interesting point about potentially Bitcoin bottoming. So there's a lot of euphoria and enthusiasm that we are gonna have a little bit of a deja vu in the meme stocks, but you have to look at the fundamentals. Bob is 100% right. The fundamentals are thin. You talk about one important metric in running a company, it's called operating income. It's negative in game stock. But if you have a stomach and you wanna buckle your chin strap, I think you can try and trade here. There's some support potentially on the chart in GameStop at $34. But when you talk about all these stocks, AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, Bed Bath & Beyond is really interesting. Elon Musk may wake up tomorrow and get one of those 20% discount flyers and decide to buy it. It's less than $500 million of market cap. <laughs> so this is a high beta. If you're a trader and you use stops, hop in, the water's warm. But if you're talking long-term investing like Bob just was, I think you stay away from at least the first two names. And then if you want to take a bet here, Kelly, you take a bet on Bed Bath & Beyond being bought for a lot of reasons, but not for the fact that they're making money. Well, at the same time, Bob, we wonder where all the money's coming from this time around or if this one is sustainable. And overall, people, have, like Jeff was saying, it has to be some kind of good sign if there's interest in meme stocks and if crypto. And I mean, these are liquidity gauges, if you want to call it that, momentum gauges, signs of life for the rally of the broader market. Well, right. So the S&P is up 10 percent in the last few weeks. Uh, and this is a sign of a return of more speculative activity. I don't think it's a very good sign overall. I think the market, I think the Fed certainly wants to see more subdued speculative activity. I just want to comment on the short interest story because this makes some sense to me. It, what you need is a critical mass of people who can move uh, by sufficient amount. So if you have enough people get together and say, you know, the interest, short interest, very high here. And if all of us get together, we might be able to force some people to cover the shorts and drive the price up. This is not an absurd observation. It's not insane or nonsensical at all. But it does nothing to improve the fundamental outlook of the company itself. And again, that's kind of what you're interested in here long term. You're interested in the fundamental outlook. And Bob, so, remember, so I, I Bob, think that's illegal. That's illegal to do if you're a hedge fund. This is retail investors. This is unregulated. Well, this is a completely different scenario here. Right. There is. But no one is going to the, the SEC is not going to go after uh, the, the Reddit crowd uh, for uh, for manipulation of the stock. I think that's highly unlikely that that will ever happen. Agreed. Uh, maybe on a hedge fund, you get more organized, but not not in a Reddit crowd. So th th this was not absurd. The fundamental my point here is the, the idea that the Reddit crowd had the initial observation, which you brought up, Jeff, that, hey, you know, there's an awful heavy short interest here. And if enough of us get together, we can make a difference. <laughs> That made some sense. But again, it doesn't change the fundamentals at all. And ultimately, listen, they had layoffs at GameStop recently. <laughs> Everything they've been trying has not been successful. At least AMC is talking about a special dividend. At least they have something there to move the stock on a fundamental basis. I don't particularly see it over at GameStop. Quick last word, Jeff. Well, I think you have to understand, you know, this is musical chairs. I think a lot of people lost a lot of money, but certainly a lot of people made money when you saw the meme stocks take off. I don't think, like every movie out there, Kelly, the sequel is never as good as the original. So <laughs> buyer beware, buyer beware. Well, certainly less interesting. Uh, guys, thank you very much. Jeff Kilberg, okay. Bob Bassani, we appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.